At this point, when we start a brand new drawing, we need to be able to know how we're controlling our axis yeah, with 3D primitives. So as an example, if we hold down this icon and come down to the cylinder, we're going to see the options appearing onto the screen of placing a cylinder. Now, the big thing we want to look at is the axis. Again, we got a radius. We can tap in a height, double-click that area, and we'll type in uh, 2 as an example. That axis is how we want MicroStation to consider that object. Using center point, we can data point where we want the center to be, move our cursor onto the screen, and notice that's automatically going to be preset with a value. If we move our cursor to the, to the isometric for a moment, notice how we're locked in a certain direction. Switch it to drawing X now, and notice that you'll see what the true X axis is going to be. So using the word drawing, we're dealing with the true axis of the drawing, not necessarily the screenshot. Using a Y, you can move your cursor back to the screen. It's easy to indicate the Y value. And if you go back and change the axis to drawing Z, drawing Z will show us where the true axis was going to be. All we have to do at this point is a data point wherever we want to, and MicroStation will remember that particular salon, uh, that, that particular axis. So at this point, we have the ability to control exactly uh, what direction we want projections or what direction we want primitives to follow based on something that we call drawing Z, X and Y, which means simply go through the true drawing axis, or we can use screen, which means the screen X, Y, Z is relative to the screen that we're working in.